everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 339, and I'm Nate Moore. I'm sending this to you from Virginia, where I'm in town to speak for v Virginia MGMA. I'm speaking today and tomorrow, the basics of Excel, followed by uh, charting and how to do a whole bunch of different charts in Excel. If I haven't been to your organization yet, I'd love to. What we're going to do today is play with a couple of more scenarios. And if you come in here, the data tab, what if analysis, and look at scenario manager, you you'll see since the last Excel video, I've added two more scenarios in here. So there's a 300,000. There's a base of 250 with different dollars per additional RVU, dollars per additional bill charge. And what I'm looking for today is, you know, how do I summarize this? How do I make sure that these are overall comparable? I mean, I just put these numbers in here. How do I know that overall that this compensation plan won't cost me, you know, $100,000 less than maybe this one will. It probably will with an extra 100000 per physician. It's probably going to be a lot more. How do I get my arms around some kind of summary of what my scenarios are doing right now? And the way to do that is from this little summary tab right here, and that's what I want to play with next. When you click on summary, Excel's going to give me two options. Do you want a scenario pivot table report or a scenario summary? And as much as your friendly neighborhood pivot table guy likes pivot table reports, I'm going to start with the summary and then we'll go to pivot tables. So we're going to do a scenario summary and it, the question is where are the result cells? And I've told it, hey, the result cells are right down here. This is what the answer or the overall result of my formulas are. Hit return there and click OK. And I want to show you what the scenario summary tab does that Excel just created for me. It says here's the current values, the way I've got it set up, and here's my four scenarios. There, 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 and there. You'll see how I've named the scenarios so it's a little bit easy to keep track of these. With B3, B4, and B5, that's a little bit harder. So what I might do is I might come over here and then format that to make these a little bit easier. Then what we need to do is just make this a lot bigger. See how I've kind of fixed the B3, B4, B5 and put some the actual what I'm calculating here so this kind of makes sense. Now what I need to do is come over here and we'll say this is Dr. A and then that's not going to copy because I'm going the other direction so we're just going to do this. We're going to copy this and we will paste and then if I hover over, see how it says transpose there. Now I've got A, B, C, and D. And now what I'm going to do is just format these like that. Put them all to the right. Oops, I need this guy too. And now what I have is a summary that says, okay, under there's the current values. And under this scenario, this scenario, this scenario, Dr. A would make 208, 225, 253, and 302. Dr. C would make 318, 320, 328, and 357. And then what I could do is I could come out here and I could do a formula that, well, you know, I'm going to look at the formula differently. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way. I changed my mind. Let's sum this and say, okay, under this scenario, the four physicians make 995. Under this scenario, it's 1,291,000. And see, now I can answer the question that I had before. I can tell you you know, the difference between the scenarios. And if we say, hey, the budget's a million dollars, now I can come back here and tweak these numbers and tweak this scenario and come back and rebuild the scenario so that I can make sure that I stay within my budget across here. The one thing I want to show you is if I come over here and let's go back to data and what if and scenario manager and let's change. I've clearly got the 220 one there. Let's put the big one in. So I'm going to double click that and close. And this changes, and this is still the same because I haven't done anything to affect this. If I came over here and made dollars per additional charge eight, so the first time when I did it, the scenario didn't change. The second time I went in and made that an eight. So this number, this 322, is not over here. Let me see if I can make that make sense. If I change the scenarios, between them, this hasn't changed. The scenarios are still the same. If I go in and change this, then I've clearly got a problem. that the, These cells won't update. Last thing I want to show you is if I go in here and let's change it this way. And let's click OK and change this to an 8. So if I change between the scenarios, there's no problem. 
if I change this number, there's no way scenario manager knows. Third thing I want to show you is Dr. D making 322. Dr. D still at 324. This isn't live. This doesn't refresh when you change a number here or even when you change the scenario. If you want the scenario summary to refresh, the thing you have to do is come back to scenario summary and build this thing again. Now scenario summary 2 has got the 322. It's a great report, but it's not live and it doesn't change even if the scenario changes. You have to run the scenario summary again. That's what I wanted to show you. Excel Video 339. Stay tuned next time. We'll keep going with these scenarios. Thanks for watching.